to first. 1,000 hits with number three tonight. Fastest Astro ever to 1,000. Now the 2-2. A swing and a pop-up. Perez, Santana, Santana makes the catch. Ball game. The Indians have won the American League pennant. And Cleveland, for the sixth time ever, you will have a World Series. The Indians are the champions of the American League. Beltre homered his last time up there. Hammered a pitch right down the right field line that got out of here by 20 feet. He is three for four this evening. Under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of baseball on MLB Network. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the New York Mets and the Miami Marlins. It's a battle of elite pitchers next on MLB Network. Edinson Volquez, the right-handed native of the Dominican Republic, will be the starter. Harold, what do you got? Well, Matt, he's coming off an outing where he pitched into the eighth inning, gave his team a chance to get the win, but he ended up with a no decision. So he's throwing the ball good right now. I'm looking for another strong performance in this game. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. He's hitting in the 270s on the season coming into this one. The pitch. Grounded back up the middle, fielded by Hechevarria. Throw on to first will take care of Reyes, and that's how we get things started. Well, well hold on here now. He jumped out of that dugout in a hurry. He might ask for that out hole to be reviewed. Well, I think we're going to have to wait and see what the word is from the dugout, but here's another look at it. Wow. Tough to tell if he was out for certain from that angle. I can see why this was a really tough call for the umpire. So here's the signal from the bench and they will indeed ask for the play to be reviewed. So the umpires will get on the horn with the replay operations center in Manhattan and attempt to get a definitive Ladies answer on this play. The Mets have decided to challenge. All right we'll take one play. last look at it here. The question is is there enough video evidence to change the call to safe. And wow from that look at it I think he did beat that throw this challenge might work out for him the decision appears to have been made as the headset comes off and the runner is safe so the call is overturned Upon the runner will review. stay at first base the and they maintain the right to challenge further plays overturned. going forward and the batter rules and that safe. brings up the catcher T.J. Rivera. And this is a good looking matchup for him here as you can see he's hit lefties quite a bit better than he has right handers this season. A runner at first with no outs here. Runners on the move for second. Pitch inside the throw. Right on the bag and Reyes is out at second base. Well so much for that first hit of the game. Tried to press their luck and move him up to second with the steal but it didn't work out. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Gone into the home bullpen for a home run. A solo shot here to left. Home run number two for him on the year, and the Mets are on the board first, one to nothing. Yeah, it's a long season with a lot of peaks and valleys, but he's getting hot here in September. That bodes well for him and his team as things crank up in October. We'll see if he can stay hot when it matters the most. Digging in, Michael Conforto. He comes in currently second on the team in home runs. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2-1. 
and it misses three and one now. This Marlins ball club, Harold Reynolds, as they begin play here tonight, they come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Well, they needed a win. They got that win last game, and it just put them right on the right frame of mind, positive vibes, getting things cleaned out for them. So maybe this will put them on a win streak, because up to that point, they were really struggling recently. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. four. Now at the plate, Joanna Cespedes. And as you Joanna take a look at the splits Cespedes. here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. One and one, here it comes. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Look, Matt, this guy's got a great sinker. Here's the key. He's got a runner on first base. This is where you can get that ground ball double play. Make him chase that hard sinker and hit it into the dirt and turn one over for you. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And this had home run distance, but it just does hook foul. Here he comes again, one, two. And the changeup is way low that time. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Skied into very shallow right. Stanton has a long run, but he takes charge for route number two. And now a chance to meet the Mets. Who's the one to watch, Dan? Well, Matt, I can't wait to see if La Potencia, Yoana Cespedes, can keep it going. This guy knows how to drive in runs. Had over 25 runs batted in last month. You've got to pay attention to how he goes about it. Ground balls, fly balls, home runs, any way to drive in a run, and that's what he's doing. He tries to have a major impact on every game he plays in. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. A runner on first with two away. Chopped weakly to the left. Up with it now is Prado. Throw to first will get him easily and the side is retired. Mets draw first blood thanks to this solo home run. Home half of the first coming up from Miami. And the Mets have an early 1-0 lead. Noah Syndergaard will be on the mound for the series opener. What do you have for us on MH? Well, I love watching this guy pitch, and particularly when he's got runners in scoring position. He's a guy that gets better when he has runners on base. So I'm looking forward to seeing if he gets in a jam. What does he do to get out of these jams where his numbers look so good with runners in scoring position? Here's D. Gordon now. He brings an average in the 260s into this one. Hit hard down the line. Rivera scoops it up, and a rather easy first out. Time now for a glance at the Marlins lineup card in this one. Danny, who stands out to you? You know, I think everyone should keep an eye on Christian Yelich. He's one of those guys who won at the plate in those big game-defining moments. He's such a clutch hitter. I love watching him in those situations, and hopefully we'll have that in this game as well. In now, Christian Yelich, currently with the third-best home run total on the ball club. One out, nobody on. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats, out of play. It's one and two. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. Batting third. Giancarlo Stanton now. Career numbers versus Syndergaard. He's just one for 13. Seven strikeouts on the stat sheet as well. Here's a high pop-up. Rivera is there for it and that retires the side one two three go the Marlins they're on the short end of a one to nothing score now at the plate Wilmer Flores and you can see great numbers over the past few games
Three and no count. Here it comes. And that ball misses four. for ball four. So it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. Yeah, well, when a guy's swinging the bat as well as he's been, this is Batting a smart seven. move. No Catholic. reason to tempt fate out Travis there. Darno. He's set. Here's the three and two down the third baseline. And that's through for a hit. And they keep rolling here. Their runners at the corners with still nobody out. I love running the guy on the three two count. You know the pitcher's going to be around the plate. And if you got a guy that can handle the bat like this guy right here, you put the ball in play, and now you get the base hit on top of it, and you're sitting first and third. Beautiful. Set to go now. Juan Ligares. And he's swinging a pretty hot bat coming in. Hits in each of his last seven games. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Hit down the third baseline. But a foul ball. 1 and 2 the count now. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Well, that's what you want from your curveball on one and two. You start it in the zone and let it break out of the zone where it can't be punished. Didn't get him to go after it, but the execution was nice. Ball line fouled as that'll get over the Marlins dugout. Here's another two two hit on the ground to third. There's one back to first so they get the double play but the run does come in to score. It certainly looked like they might have had a big Noah inning cooking Finger there gun. with first and third and no outs but the double play kind of kills it. They did get the run in but the batter doesn't get credit for an RBI. Into the box now Noah Sindergaard. In for strike two. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Hit on the ground out to short. And the pitcher's got himself a base hit. So a two out knock and we'll go a little deeper into the top of the second. That is a big hit right there when you can help yourself out. A little two out base okay. hit. Stends the inning. Brings the top of the order up now. Into the box, Jose Reyes. And he puts it on the ground to second. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Mets played a run on a couple of hits. On now to the bottom of the second. The Mets lead it two to nothing. Coming to the plate now, Justin Bohr. Career numbers versus Syndergaard. Six for 14. Two of those hits were for home runs. And the payoff pitch is chopped foul at home plate, so we'll do it again. Still three and two. And another foul ball. Well, he fouled that breaking ball off a little bit early. Timing not quite there. Had a fastball to pitch before. He just got out in front of that breaking ball. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. Well, let's take a look at the Mets defense brought to you by Majestic. In this day and age, when teams are moving all over the place playing the shift, these guys are old school, very traditional. You don't see the shift applied very often to this club. Here's Marcelo Zuna. He was not much of a factor at the plate during yesterday's win as he took an 0 for 4 line. A good knee high changeup taken for a strike. Bases are empty, one man out. This is line to left. And the Marlins are into the hit column. There's their first base hit. That's an impressive swing on a tough pitch, a sinker from a right-handed pitcher going into the right-handed batter, and he's able to get the fat head out and hit it in the left field. That was really cool. Oh. 
Standing in now, JT Real Muto. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. The one and two pitch. Hit hard, but foul toward first, so he'll come back and line it up again. That's a nice job of staying alive. A two-strike breaking ball just out of the zone. He was able to put enough on it to get another pitch. Another one sent foul. Well, that's three foul balls in a row. He's definitely battling up there. A swing and a miss for out number two, and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. He's just got great strikeout stuff. In his last start, he racked up double-digit Ks. And it looks like he could finish up in that range again here. He's really an exciting pitcher to watch when he's sending guys packing like this. In now, Martin Prado. A swing and a miss just out in front of that fastball. And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at two and two. And a slider swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Riding in once again, T.J. Rivera. He'll start off the inning now against Edinson Volquez. Ready on three and one. Here it comes. A fastball right over the outside corner. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Takes this the other way to right. He dives. Did he catch that? He did. What a play there for the first out. Taking another look at it, the ball has some top spin on it, but he's on the full run and dives to make the catch. Nice defensive play right there. Ready for another chance? Michael Conforto. He drew a walk his first time up. One out, nobody on. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. And he'll pull in there with a one out double. The left fielder. Well that base hit right there sends his streak to 14 games. That's two weeks going to the ballpark saying I'm feeling good. I'm going to get a hit tonight. That's the mindset you want to be in. Stepping in now. Joanna Cespedes. High in the air out to center field. Catch made in straightaway center as the runner tags from second. But he'll think better of that idea as he holds on at second with two away now. First baseman number five. Stepping in and ready David for another shot. Wright. David Wright. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Heavy sinker just stayed inside. Well, he clearly read the scout report. This guy's been sizzling hot, and look at how careful he's been pitching him. And he comes back with a pitch right down the middle for strike two. You know, I think this is a big situation in this game. They've got to lead by a couple of runs, but they don't want to look back on this inning when this one's over and think that they left some runs out there on the base path. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Back goes Ozuna, and that one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in the inning. A two-run homer for David Wright. Home run number nine on the year, and the Mets have jumped out to a 4 nothing lead. Wow, another long ball in the early going of this one. The second one he's allowed in just two and two-thirds innings. Might want to warm up those showers. He might be heading that way real soon if he can't keep the ball in the yard. On, 
Into the box, Wilmer Flores. 1-1 one, one pitch is a sinker taken for a strike one and two. Oh, Matt, look, it's real simple. If you're going to throw the ball down the middle in the big leagues, you're going to get hammered. He's got to put the ball in the corner if he wants to have any chance. Well, he saw that ball pretty good. Too bad he couldn't keep it fair. Now this ball's hit deep to left field. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the left field wall. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. That's the seventh no, game he's hit in. Catcher. Look out. Travis Seven games. Darnell. That's one week of feeling pretty good. Let's see how long he can make this last. Digging in to try it again. Travis Darno, One for one after a single this first time up. Marlins have some action in the bullpen now as a right-hander is up and throwing. He's oh. fallen behind now, three and one. Well, he's really got to get it together off of quick because he's going to be out of there. That bullpen is getting hot in a hurry. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. Well, some might say a walk there is okay because you've got first the base open, but he's been struggling out there. One, and if you're going to work Lagarde. around hitters, you don't want to work around hitters in the bottom of the lineup. Set to deal. Here's the 3 1. And here's a ball hit in the air. Stanton is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. But the Mets do strike for two, both coming on this two run home run. We play two and a half. It's now 4 0 New York. Here's Echeverria now. And they've got some work to do early on. Down four nothing already. From the windup, the one one pitch popped into the air, back behind second. And there's the first out here in the Miami third. And with one gone for him in the inning, let's check out where these guys sit in the standings. And as you can see, they've got themselves a slim two and a half game lead in the division. Now to the plate, Edinson Volquez. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. Faces are empty, one man out. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Well, it's still early, but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as you can see there, he in fact leads the NL in that category. Standing in, D. Gordon. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. From the windup, the 3 0 pitch. Takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Another payoff pitch. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. And this will be a foul ball as the first baseman makes a Herculean effort to make the stop. Easy there, Cha Cha. Fly ball out toward right field. Conforto is under it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Miami down in order. They're down 4 0. At the plate, Noah Sindergaard. As we begin the top of the fourth. Go, right. Sinker no, misses down. that time and it's two and one. Been a real big struggle for him so far on the mound. Four runs and only three innings. So it'll be interesting that's to see out. if he can settle in at all and make some adjustments or if this start will continue to run downhill. Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center. But this will be pulled in out there in left center. Well hit, but a rough out number one. 
Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. One and one, here it comes. There's that heavy sinker for strike number two. Hard sinker misses two and two. All even at two and two. Here it is. Ground ball right side. Gordon is there. Throw in time at first for route number two. Off next for the Mets. Third baseman. And that brings up the catcher T.J. Rivera. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Here's the one and one pitch. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. And now Volquez up to 77 pitches for his outing so far. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time and it's back to even now at two and two. The pitch. Swing and a liner but foul. Ready with another 2 2. And this is down at knee level as it's chopped foul at home plate. Well, that was a pretty good swing right there. Tough changeup. Back to back changeups. He fouls it off. Now you get the pitch you want because I can't see him throwing another changeup right here. And that'll get down for a two out single. Some success with two away, and the top of the fourth is still alive. Well, a little two out single. Now, you may not think it's much, but he's already given up a couple Michael runs this game, so maybe this is the start of something big. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Michael Conforto. He gets a shot to hit here in the inning following the two out single. Yeah, and that hit might not amount to much, but anytime you could extend an inning and give a guy with plenty of pop a chance to swing it, the outlook of an inning changes dramatically. Come on, Marlon! He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Looks at a sinker over the inside part of the plate. Four runs, eight hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Breaking ball as this runs in on him and he has to step out of the way that time. A lot of times you see guys in the middle of the order get worked away, but not right here. They're keeping it inside on him. He's set. Here's the 3 and 2. Good swing on a tough pitch and he'll stick around to see another one. Payoff pitch one more time. And whoa, awfully close, but it's ball four, according to Woody Keller. He did not want to let the hitter off the hook with two outs, and now he's got a runner in scoring position to deal with. Well, now the Miami manager's up out of the dugout and on his way out to the mound. And that's going to do it here for Edinson Volquez. So as he leaves I would imagine these fans would not be much pleased with his performance here this evening as he certainly was not sharp. David Phelps answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Three and one now. And I think he wanted to know where that one was. His past batting line against David Phelps. He's gone just two for 15. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Stepping in, David Wright. One for two in the ball game thus far. And this is on the inside edge, perhaps off the inside edge, but it's a called strike two and two now. Hard hit ball to short. And that's through into left, a base hit. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. Now a 5 nothing lead. Well, Matt, he's homered in this game. Drives in a run right Second there. It's his third RBI of the ball Wilbur. game. He's Morris. doing his part.
Ready once again, Wilmer Flores. He hits here in a spot where he might be able to put this one out of reach. Yeah, Matt, down five, another run across here could very well put the nail in the coffin. Mentally, they might still feel like they've got a shot if they could get out of this jam, though. Oh, and it misses ball four, and that will force home a run. And it's times like these that a pitcher feels awfully lonely. I can see why he didn't want to be too aggressive. Last thing he wants to do is give up a grand slam to a dangerous hitter, but walking in a run is painful, too. And here he is again, still with the bases loaded. Hoping to limit the damage, here's the pitch. Strike two called, and it's even at two. Two out, bases loaded. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. Juan Ligares would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Here comes the payoff pitch. Got him. So the damage winds up not being as bad as it could have been as they'll strand the bases loaded. The side is retired. So they wind up with two in the inning, but it could have been a lot worse as they leave the bases loaded. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. It's the Mets six and the Marlins nothing. With Harold Reynolds and Dan Plesak, Matt Vaskersian with you as the left-handed hitting Christian Yelich settles in to start out the inning. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Now a ball grounded foul over toward the coaching box. Line to the right side. And this inning starts with a solid base hit. So the leadoff hitter reaches base safely, and now it's the run-producing part of the order with the nobody out. Fielder, number 27. Digging in Giancarlo for his second at-bat, Giancarlo Stanton comes into this at-bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. No walks yet. Here's the delivery. Now a swing and a miss, and Stanton is down on strikes for round number one. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with him, and watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you could tell these things and exploit them. Into the box now, Justin Bohr. And a fastball just a bit up. No runs, two hits, and no errors in the game for the Marlins. And a big swing and a miss here, two strikes. 91 mile an hour slider. Man, a lot. There's not many people that throw that one right there. That is the elite group right there. I would throw that pitch every time. The 2 2 one more time. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. The 2 2 one more time. And there he goes toward second. It was a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Conforto looking up, and it's gone. A two-run blast to straightaway right field. 34 home runs now on the year. As the lead is cut to four, it's six to two now. I can tell you one thing. You might get away with throwing a ball in that location in the minor leagues, but when you get one up like that in the zone right over the plate against these guys, you're going to get exactly what he got. A really bad result. In now, Marcelo Zuna. Yeah. That one's in there. Three and one. One out, nobody on. This is in the air out to straightaway center. There to pull it in, Ligaris, and there are two away now. At the plate, JT Realmuto. He's pulled for one thus far.
Fastball called strike one and two. Frozen with a high fastball there. We'll see if they try to climb the ladder even more on the next pitch. And he struck him out his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. But two in the inning for the Marlins thanks to the two run home run. We played four now a six to two ball game. Here's Juan Ligares his past batting line against David Phelps 0 for 7 right hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Hit hard up the middle. A diving try, but he can't haul it in. It's through for a base hit. Eight game streak. He's swinging the bat really now well. Catcher, Noah Sindergaard. Digging in now, Noah Sindergaard. He's one for two in the ball game. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Got it back in time there, and it's 2 and 1. In a double play situation, that's the location you want a guy to swing at. More than likely, he's going to beat it into the ground. Ligaris runs, and he pops up the bunt attempt. But this will wind up a foul ball. 2 and 2. He's on the move again from first. And this one's in the dirt. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. So they can't get the strike him out, throw him out double play as there's a runner in scoring position now following the punch out. Standing in now, Jose Reyes. In the dirt here. And he'll rein it in as the count moves to one and two. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Liner toward right center. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. And the runner from second is in to score. So another run in to score. And we've seen that this has been a potent offense all season long as we bring in a look at the league leaderboard for runs scored. And you can see that the Mets are currently best in the senior circuit in that category. At the plate, T.J. Rivera. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. Here's the one and two delivery. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. These guys hitting aren't in first place by accident. They excel at getting out the early lead, so this is a big moment in this game. If they're able to lengthen this lead any more in this inning, they're going to be in really good shape to come away with a win today. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. TJ Rivera goes down for out number two in the top half. Into the box, Michael Conforto. Oh, and he takes ball two, and it's two and one. The two one pitch. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Well, to me, it just looks like he's really aiming the ball a little bit right now. And it's funny, when you do that, you usually don't have as good a control as you do when you just let it go free and easy. Strike two called, and it's full three and two. All right, three two count with two outs. The runner on first will be moving, so we'll see what happens. There are a lot of possible outcomes with this kind of play. Just keeping him close. Two out with the man at first. Out of play off to the right. The next 3 2. Hit hard on the ground is short. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. Oh, but the feed to third is offline. Digging in once again, Yoenis no Cespedes. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. A throw behind the runner at second and a dive, but he's back.
good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. And a big strike out there as they'll leave a couple of runners on base. And after a good start to the inning, they can't capitalize any further. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. Last half of the fifth coming up. The Mets are out on top, 7-2. to two. Martin Prado now, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And oh, he can't knock this one down as it zips right by him into left. He absolutely smoked that ball right there. The infielder was ducking to get out of the way. Shortstop stepping up to the plate, Adani Echevarria comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Lays ball. off 2 and 2 now. Two, two. Nobody out runner on first. Here we go. Now a ball hit hard toward first. And here's a dive and they got him. It's a double play. What an effort. Well, Sometimes for a first baseman the best thing you do is just go ahead and tag the guy like that. Hey, there's a lot more that can go wrong when you try to throw to the pitcher or the second baseman cover. Derek Dietrich will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Now a swing and a fly ball. And they can't run it down. Ready on one and two. Again, he sends it out of play. Another one two delivery. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ballgame, and that one ends the inning. Nothing doing for the Marlins. They're down five, it's seven to two. You're Brian Ellington play. takes over to start now the sixth inning the on the mound. Number 49. Ryan Ellington. Digging in and looking for more, David Wright. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. And the pitch. Down low, two balls and a strike. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Line drive to center field. Yelich is right there, one down. Up next for the Mets. Stepping in and Second ready for another one. shot, Wilma Wilmer Flores. Flores. Looks like a left hander up and throwing now in that Marlins bullpen. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 1 2. And he bangs it into center field for a base hit. Back to back line drives. Now the first guy was out, but man, they're swinging the bat now, pretty good. These two guys saw him pretty good. Let's see what happens now. Stepping in now, Travis Darno. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Oh, that was a good job of spoiling a good pitch right there. Two strike breaking ball right on the corner, and he was able to foul it off. He'll try again, one, two. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these days, but it doesn't make it any less impressive to me. I love watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys. Into the box now. Juan Ligares. Yeah. And he takes a cold strike too. This is hit sharply to the left side. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. This guy's just a good hitter. You can tell. Anytime you get a base hit on two strikes and you stay him? with that ball right well, there, pitcher. that's Go why on. the average is going to stay over 300. In now, Noah Sindergaard. And he oh. takes one off the inside corner for ball two. He's got a couple of pitches to deal with right here, but he's starting to lose command of his pitches. 
it might be time to take a step back and try to refocus and making some good pitches. Hit in the air to center field. Yelich is under it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Two left for the Mets. They're on top seven to two. Here's D. Gordon now. And then he and his fellow top of the order hitters haven't really offered much help for this lineup so far. No, your one, two, three guys are the ones you look to to generate a lot of action. And they just haven't been up to the task so far in this one. Still time for them to turn it around, though. We'll see if it happens. Close pitch, but just a bit outside. He wanted it, but it's two and one. Two and one now to Gordon. Turned on down the line. Gloved by right. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Now batting. Center fielder. Christian. Yelich. Digging in once again. Christian Yelich. One for two on his line so far in the game. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. And that's going to be high two and two now. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Hard hit toward the hole. He gets dirty, but he can't make the play. It's a base hit. So it's a ground ball single to left for him here. His second hit tonight. And as you take a look here at the team leaderboard, you can see he tops all Miami Marlins in that department. Giancarlo Stanton now. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Runners on first with one down. Squared that one up just a little late. To two oh. balls and two strikes now. Two balls, two strikes. Come on. He's ready with the 2 2 pitch. Oh, he's really got the strikeout pitch working now as he notches number nine in the ball game. Well, you can tell by their approach that they're going to go now up there and try to be aggressive off this guy, but he's taking Justin full advantage of that. Ball. He's pounding the zone with strikes, and right now we're seeing a lot of swings and misses and a lot of strikeouts and no walks either. Standing in now, Justin Bohr out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. Here's the one and two delivery. Sent on the ground out to second. That gets through and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. Well, this is how rallies start. You get one man on, then you get the base hit. Up next Look, the it's still early. Uh, I know they're Taylor. down by a lot, but Marcel. man, this is how little things oh, add up. They need to score this inning and then from there continue to add on. Into the box, Marcelo Zuna. And he'll promptly send it in the air out to center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Marlins strand a pair. They're down five. It's seven to two. Welcome back to South Florida. Getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top. But first, let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. Sean Gilmartin lead. is on to pitch now from the bullpen the now to start inning number, number seven. 38, Sean Gilmartin. Jose Reyes will be the first one to greet him as he'll have to turn around and bat from the right side of the plate here. And one now. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. And Reyes is aboard with a leadoff single. He really needed this big night to get going. Third hit tonight. He's setting the trend for the rest of this series. I'm curious how they're going to pitch him the rest of the way out. Rivera. Into the box now. TJ Rivera in there and it's full three and two. He had some really good late action on that slider right there. It's hard to do anything with that pitch unless you're sitting on it and catch it out. And now they've got him in a rundown. 
They slap the tag on him, and he is out at second base. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Hit sharply on the ground. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. The right fielder number Digging in to try it again, Michael, Michael Conforto. He doubled earlier and carries a two-for-two two line into this appearance. Set to deal. Here's the 3-1. And he two takes one. ball four again. And they clearly just don't want any part of him in this one. The left fielder Here's Yuanis Cespedes. No hits in three tries so far. He's struck out once. A runner on first with two away. Line towards center field. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come Ladies around to haunt him as that it's ends the inning. Mets strand inning one. They're on top seven to two. Ready for another chance? JT Real Muto been a strikeout victim twice in this one. Liner towards second, but an atom ball right to him for the first out. So yet another Third strong outing for 14. him tonight as we show you the Mark league Bean. leaders in ERA. Oh. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Into the box now, Martin Prado, a hit in two tries so far. And now a good slider that doesn't quite catch the zone. It's two and one now. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. Line drive to left. That's in for a base hit, and he's two for three. He's got to feel good about himself. A multi-hit game. He knows he's been struggling. We know he's been struggling. Maybe this is the start of good things to come. Looks like a left-hander has begun to get loose out in that Mets bullpen. Runner at first here, one man out. Stepping in now. A Danny Echevarria, and he puts it on the ground to second. Reyes, relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Your attention, please. Now New pitcher set Marlins. to take over here, and we'll Number see the right-hander Junichi Tazawa. Junichi Tazawa. Riding in once again, David Wright. He went deep earlier, and he's two for four to this point. Ready with the 3 1. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. And Wright's going to have himself a base hit. He really worked hard on this at bat to get to a count where he can get something to hit. Well, gets him 3 2, Mets. gets a fastball. Base Boom, man. base hit. Wilmer Flory. Standing in, Wilmer Flores. He doubled earlier and carries a two for two line into this appearance. A runner at first with no outs here. Make him hit the ground ball. And they'll turn to the slider here and it just misses two and one now. You know something to keep in mind. They're really burning through that bullpen and this is only the first game of the series definitely could have an impact on the rest of the series and maybe even the whole week ahead. That's a close pitch right there but I think he's just nibbling a little bit too much out of the pen sometimes you just have to come in and go right after guys and he takes ball four again and they clearly just don't want any part of him in this one now batting 
Striding into the box, Travis Darno. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. None out, runners at first and second. Now both runners are breaking. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. The runner scores from second. Flores rounds the corner and is headed home. And he will score as well. And they're really putting some distance between them now as that lead gets even bigger. Usually a hitter will shorten his swing with two outs, but not this guy. He puts a big charge into this one and drives in a couple of runs along the way. That can be frustrating as a pitcher when you had a guy on the ropes and you couldn't finish him off, especially when he drives in runs. In now, Juan Ligares. And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. Ready for another shot now. Noah Syndergaard. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Gavin Cicchini will get a chance to swing the bat here and he'll do it in a good spot as he has runners at first and second and nobody out in the inning. One one pitch is a splitter called strike two. Ready to deliver the one and two. Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line and right. Stanton is over to his left as he snags this one for the first out of the inning. Shortstop number seven. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. He's working on a three hit ball game right now. Runners are at first and second with one away. And a double steal try here. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Ozuna racing back. He makes the running play. Two down. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. Ready once again. TJ Rivera. And we'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home so far this inning. Decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. Swing and a liner. Leaps and makes a terrific catch. And with that, the side is retired. A ball ticketed for right center, but the ticket is revoked as he goes up to pull this one down. We're back with more on this Monday night after this. Jerry's Familia is on out of the bullpen the now as he gets to work in his 60th game of the season. Matt Dendecker will try and get his club back into it here as he'll pinch hit to lead off the home half of the eighth. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. The three, two, one more time. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Locked in a good battle. Here comes another one. Swing and a little blooper to center. And the pinch hitter is retired here, one away. Some good pitching, nine. some good Second hitting. Baseball. It all adds up to a 9 2 okay. ball game as you get a look there at the inning by inning recap of our game to this point. Settling in now, D. Gordon. He was a ground out victim last time up. Bases are empty, one man out. Checks his swing, but this will be strike two call. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. That was a nasty-looking slider that time. Yeah, that was really well executed, Matt. A classic strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. Into the box, Christian Yelich ripped down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. Giancarlo Stanton will get a chance in the inning following the base hit. Matt, that's his third hit of the night, his third single. I'm sure he'd like to have a double or something mixed in, but for now, he'll take the three for four.
Into the box now, Giancarlo Stanton takes this the other way to right. Conforto is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Marlins leave one. They're down by a touchdown. It's nine to two. Now the famous neon of Ocean Drive in Miami Beach. Welcome back to baseball on MLB please. Network. Kyle Berkla comes on to pitch now, Number hoping for better six. results than the other Kyle arms that they've Berkla. run out there in this one. So stepping in, Michael Conforto. He doubled earlier and carries a two for two line into this appearance. The one one pitch. Two and one. And that pitch catches the inside corner. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? I think one of the. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Ozuna ranging back, but he can't get to this one. It's off the wall. And he's going to make it. He's in at second base with a leadoff double. Sometimes when a reliever comes in the game, he wants to get that first strike so bad that he serves one up. And that's exactly what happens here. The first batter he faces just rockets one off the wall. And now he's got to worry about another base hit, potentially bringing home a run. Standing in now, Joanna Cespedes looks at a slider over the outer half for strike two. A runner at second, nobody out. Hopped up. Now coming on hard as he makes the diving catch. Now batting. At the plate, David Wright. It's been a nice game for him. Three hits, including a homer to this point. Spin and a throw back to second, and he'll get back in standing. Runner at second here with one man out. Line to the right side. That's in there. Base hit. And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only one away. Now, well, how about that for Second a four-hit game? He homered Gilbert. earlier. Four. Now he picks up his fourth hit of the game. Wow, he's having a tremendous game. <laughs> Stepping in now, Wilmer Flores. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Wanted to go after the slider, but he holds off. Three and one. Couldn't be a whole lot better situation to hit in now. Three and one, two on. He's got to be thinking he's going to get a pitch he can drive right here. This pitch is popped up. Prado is there for it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. He's doubled Travis. and singled Darneau. in four at bats in this contest. Runners at the corners, two men out. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Now a ball hit sharply toward third, but pulled in at the hot corner, and that ends the inning. Two left for the Mets, but they hold a 9-2 lead. Digging in, Justin Bohr starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count. At least for their own stats, you can't mill in your chances as a professional. Go. 
hard hit ball to second. And the throw to first is in time, one gun. Oh, oh man, you can't hit a ball any harder than that. I mean, this ball gets on him in a heartbeat. Nice job to stay with it, though, and then make the out at first. One and one, here it is. Belt high and right down the middle for a strike. Oh, that's for sure going to be a pitch he wants back. You're not going to get many balls right in the wheelhouse from a top-level arm like this. And now a slider in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone now. That's what you call clipping the outside corner. Great movement on that slider, and it completely locked up the hitter. Didn't fool the umpire, though. In now, JT Real Muto. Oh, and a swing and a miss on that one. And the Marlins find themselves down to their final strike now. I'll tell you, he just doesn't look comfortable in a box to me tonight. He's been off balance with his swings, and that one completely tied him up. Has him down to their final strike. Here it comes. Slap hard the opposite way. And that'll make him one for four in this one. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he will stroll in there standing with a two-out double. They haven't had much luck so far Third tonight, so they'll definitely take that extra Martin. base hit. It only Uh-oh. takes one, so maybe they can string together a few and get back into this thing. Into the box, Martin Prado. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed, and now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. That swing had one purpose, and that was to put the ball over the wall. I guess he doesn't have much to lose with his team down this many at this point in the game. And that'll get down for what should be extra bases. And to score, the runner from second. And he will pull into second with an RBI double. Well, he was almost out of the three. inning. Did the last Short two batters stop. showed him that uh, you can't baby. lose focus That's on the mound, Maria. even if you get two quick outs. Back-to-back -back doubles shows you just how quickly things can get away from you. Into the box now, Adani Echevarria. And a swing and a miss as they definitely had him reaching for that one, and this ball game is over. Yeah, that's what you want to do when you're playing on the road. Take it right to the home squad and get a win. Now the pressure is off. If they get one of the next two, the series is theirs. Nine to three, the final tally here in this one. New York, wrap out 19 hits. Noah Syndergaard wins for the 23rd time in this one, the top total in the league. Edinson Volquez struggled and gets the loss after giving up six earned. So that just about does it for Harold Reynolds, the lefty Dan Plesak, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious New York Mets. Nine runs on 19 hits. No errors. They left 16. Down along the right field line. And Rizzo on the ledge. He's got it. Oh, what a play. <laughs> well, the bobblehead company. We got the tarp catch. Now we got the ledge catch. Both against the Milwaukee Brewers. Give them the gold glove right now. And again the 2-2. And here it is. And swung it. Hit the left field deep. Way back. Ruin turning around. He will watch a game-winning grand slam.